No, it depends on the power level and how you essentially shape the beam. If you have a wider beam, then you can essentially have a, a, a melting effect. But if you, if you concentrate it enough, it could be something like a catastrophic kinetic force straight through it, more similar to, say, a railgun shot would be uh, than, uh, than an actual laser. So depending on what you want to do from UAVs at short range, it probably makes more sense for more of a wider beam from a, a melting standpoint. But when you talk about shooting down you know, ballistic missile storing boost phase or any ship missiles, you're going to want a much more concentrated shot uh, and, a, and, and something to actually fight through the atmosphere because even, you know, any moisture in the air is going to cause any type of beam attenuation. So it really depends on what you're, uh, what you're going to try to counter from a military standpoint, but it's, it's kind of up to the end user where uh, there's certain companies out there that are trying to create uh, lasers that you can essentially dial up or dial down the type of shot you take. So it would be customizable depending on the threat.